Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now. And this month we're here in Greece to ask how fish farmers in the Mediterranean can adapt to climate change. They're facing a lot of issues here, including rising water temperatures and falling oxygen levels. This year is, uh, is a record, 25.5, this time of year is a record. Well, that's our story coming up, but first, the very latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. Globally, it was the second warmest September on record, with temperatures 0.7 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. In Europe, September will be remembered for the devastating floods from Storm Boris. This map shows the precipitation anomaly for September. Parts of the Czech Republic, Poland and Germany saw up to three months of rain in a few days. Well, now to our report on the climate change challenges facing the aquaculture industry here in the Mediterranean. And if we have a quick look at the data, we can see that on average, sea surface temperatures across the Mediterranean are rising at 0.4 degrees Celsius per decade. And then if we have a look at this map, you can see that everywhere shaded in red faced its warmest sea surface temperatures on record this summer. So how are they coping? Well, let's find out more. This fish farm in the Gulf of Corinthia looks idyllic, yet operations director George Tsatsos says the warming trend in the Mediterranean is hitting them hard. Last year, 2023, we had in this farm for a two or three days, 30 degrees, which was a record from here. The higher summer water temperatures are not good for business. It's a loss because as the temperature increases, the oxygen goes uh, down, and that means we need, we're forced to reduce feeding. And reducing feeding, we, low, we lose growth. This farm produces 400 tons of sea bass per month. And to adapt to warming and preserve productivity, operations are now further offshore. So the first thing we have to do is to take the farms out on the more exposed, more uh, open sea with bigger depths, stronger currents and better oxygen, which is quite important. There are 65 companies operating 328 fish farms in Greece. It's an important sector for export which needs to remain sustainable. So scientists are stepping in to find solutions. Here in Crete, Nikos Papandrilakis heads research into how best to rear sea bass in a warmer climate. They do so by comparing fish living in different temperature tanks. And each system has a different temperature. This is at 26, this is at 28, and this is at 30. 26 degrees Celsius is ideal for raising sea bass. But as soon as the water temperature rises much higher, they don't put on weight and feed is wasted. In conditions where the temperature is around 28, 29, the fish grow less, but they, they also lose their capacity to transform feed to biomass. And at 33, 34, there is a, an almost complete physiological collapse and the fish are not able not to grow and not to consume anything. Nikos and his team have used their observational data to model the fish growth and behavior and develop two applications. One uses satellite data and models to predict the oxygen requirements of the fish a few days in advance to help with feeding. The other allows fish farmers to test different species and locations against decadal climate trends. It is very important that the farmers have uh, appropriate tools to adapt today and to plan for tomorrow. On this farm, the situation is evolving rapidly. They now put fewer fish in each cage, feed them twice a day to reduce oxygen demand, and use nets with bigger holes to increase water flow. As we were seeing the temperature going, increasing year by year, we can't, we can't stay the way we are. We need to, we need to, to act. Well, that's all we have time for, but please head over to euronews.com slash climate now for more news on how our planet is changing. I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.